A magnesium sulfur battery um, is said to, to offer certain advantages in terms of um, energy density and um, the costs. What are um, the gravimetric and volumetric energy densities of these batteries? The gravimetric energy density is 1680 and the volumetric is 3200. Uh, when we want to compare it with lithium sulfur batteries, then the gravimetric for lithium is 2600 and the volumetric is uh, around 2900 and so in the end magnesium batteries would be heavier but smaller. Mm -hmm. And what are the um, estimated costs um, in comparison to the current lithium-ion batteries? I would say it's quite complicated to compare a state-of-the-art system. I, I would say uh, we are at around 100 to 200 dollars per kilowatt hour in the current state of the art lithium ion batteries. And as our materials are really cheap, so sulfur is really high abundant, it's around 20 cents per kilogram or less. So, and magnesium is 10 times cheaper than lithium around. So, if we can reach the theoretical values or coming up to comparable values to the state of the art, I think we can decrease the costs more than the half, I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> and why there's a main focus on the electrolytes? Yeah, to find a suitable electrolyte is, uh, I would say, the starting point to study a new battery chemist chemistry. Um, the comparable uh, or analog salts in, from lithium batteries are not magnesium ion conductors. So, and uh, the first developments in magnesium electrolytes uh, are based on really high reactive materials, and this uh, electrolytes can react with the sulfur cathode. So, in the end, we need or we needed to develop something completely new. And in this case, we, I would say we were already successful with our magnesium boro HFIP electrolyte to overcome this problem. Mm -hmm. And what are other challenges at the moment? The polysulfide shuttle is, I would say, the main problem because uh, during the process polysulfide will be formed, dissolve into the electrolyte, migrate to the anode, block, pl uh, blocking the anode, and then we have a really short cycle life for the battery. Mm -hmm. And what should be the next steps um, to improve the performance? There are, there are several possibilities. <laughs> um, optimization in the cathode to, let's say, how to hold the polysulfide within the cathode, that it, that reaction takes place in the cathode host and not within the electrolyte. Or some modified separators, there are also already some uh, ideas published, but all the systems are not fully perfect, I would say. And also a focus could be polymer electrolytes, because with, the, with less solvent we will, would be able to overcome this problem.